G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Welcome to Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're back at Reef Redo, the project in which we completely remove an old system to put in a brand new tank. And today we're going to install the, the Apex system, the light, and we're going to get the skimmer operational and a few other bits and pieces on this system. So let's check out Reef Redo. So Tom is currently setting up the Apex system on this tank. Now the Apex is going to be what we're plugging a lot of the componentry into so we can control it. And what we need to do is actually drill a hole through the top of the cabinet so that we can feed cables to the Apex system. So I've got my hole saw and drill and I'm just going to get in there and put in one extra hole for the cable access. Perfect. So it's time for us to mount our light. Now, it should be a relatively easy job because we already have the pre-existing holes for us to feed our spring toggle up into. So this is going to feed up through the ceiling once it gets past the plasterboard, it will spread out like that. We'll screw it in place, and this will take the weight, or the two of these, will take the weight of the light. Now, it's a hybrid LED and T5 unit, and it is quite heavy, so we definitely have to ensure that it is well supported by our mounting system, but together, the two spring toggles will definitely do the job. We're going to need. Okay. All right. That's it. And now we just screw it in. Um, I need to use my drill. Excellent. That will take a heap of weight. So now we just have to screw these parts into the ceiling mount and we then pull our cabling through. And this is where you want to have two people. Tom, can you hold this end of the light? Don't drop it in the tank. Yep. And then we'll feed these, pull this through. Ready? Let's have it. Okay. So there you have it. We've now got our Giesemann hybrid above the tank. I can't wait to plug it in. We're gonna put in a board across the back of, or above the sump back here, that will allow us to mount our Apex equipment very neatly. 
So I'm taking off the controller for our return pump just so that I can mount that and then the controller is going to be mounted on the board. Um, the board is a, a plastic particle board so it's totally waterproof and it's going to be perfect for this job. So this is our board. Uh, we're going to screw it into place. Um, being on a wooden uh, stand or a timber stand, it makes it really easy. Um, but I have to cut a hole in it that we can feed our plumbing through. So let's mark that out. I love working with this NEMA board. It's like a plastic particle board and uh, it, it's so easy to drill into, it's totally waterproof and you even find that your screws will recess into it. It looks really neat. The next step for today is going to be to fill our RO reservoir with the RO water that we've brought and uh, it's just softening at the moment, but I'm also gonna put the keto into the refugium. Now Tom is setting up our AI Prime Fuge light. It's gonna be the best light possible to really turbocharge this keto. So it's gonna grow really quickly and occupy the whole space of the refugium. Now, this is something that we haven't always done in the past. We, we often, uh, we used to put the refugium together, the keto into the refugium, uh, once the tank's been running for a few weeks, but these days we put the keto in from the very start and we find that that really helps the tank cycle uh, and avoid or reduce the severity of problem algae that often occur in the first few weeks and months of having a reef tank. So we're gonna put this in right from the start. I'm gonna put the sand in now. Um, usually I put it in from the start. It's gonna go all over the rocks, but that doesn't really matter. I'll just swish it off with my hand. Um, so we're using the Serenity, uh, one of our favorites. Try not to make a mess with this. So this is a 10 kilo bag. It might sound like a, a very small amount of uh, sand for a tank of this size, but I really like to have a very light layer, a very shallow layer of sand to reduce the chance of detritus building up under the rocks and under the sand. Um, we've turned our wave maker and return pump off and it's actually, it's worked pretty well. Hardly anyone on the rocks. So it will be good to turn the flow back on and. Uh, the skimmer will pull out any of this dust. One of the tools I most often forget are a pair of cutters that I can use to trim the cable off the lights. So I've got them today, so I'm gonna use them straight away. I've got, leaving a little bit of slack, so we can lower this down if we want to, but uh, the bulk of that is gone. It makes a big difference to the look of the light. So now I kind of feel like we're getting somewhere We'll just give this a bit of a dust off and it'll be good to go. So we've just uh, pulled out all of the controllers on the apex that we're going to mount on our board behind the sump. And we're just looking at how we're going to uh, lay it all out. 
And the things we've got to look at are the apex system. So we've got this part, which is typically called the brain. It's gonna be quite easy. It just takes two screws. It'll mount probably on the left-hand side and our energy bar. Now we're gonna mount this high on the board so that we can in future put modules underneath it. Um, this is going to have a variety of the components attached to it so we can run them through the apex. We've also got our skimmer. Uh, it's a very easy mount that's going to attach on the right hand side of our board along with our Ecotech uh, return pump controller. So we'll just start to mount them, see how it goes. Uh, we've got lots of space so it's a pretty easy job. How good does that look? We've got our energy bar mounted beautifully um, in the perfect position and best of all, we're able to feed its power cord down the back behind that board so it's beautifully tucked away. So far so good, now let's put the brain on. This is another one of the exciting parts of today's job. We've got our first fish for this tank. Now this tank has been running with water in it for, geez, it's been weeks and weeks and weeks. And uh, we're very confident that it's gonna be ready for the addition of two clownfish. We've got uh, Ocellaris, a pair of Ocellaris clowns. So we're just acclimating the, the, them at the moment and then we're going to put them into the tank. We've brought one more box of this Carib Sea uh, life rock, the shapes. And so I'm just gonna, put them in place or put them in the tank and then do a bit more aquascaping in a few minutes. So this is what our board is going to look like. We've got our controllers down the end, our apex in the middle, and we're going to have our dosing pump down this end. Uh, unfortunately, we've run out of time to mount the doser, so we'll do this on next episode of Reef Redo. So thank you so much for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. I'm Cam the Fish Guy, happy reefing. That's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and make sure you've subscribed to our channel so you don't miss an episode of Gallery Aquatica TV. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Happy reefing.